I just woke up in my tent. I slept with all my clothes. And, I, and I'm wondering, why the hell is it so cold? My next project is a rocket stove. I'm going to make this a, a sleeping place at the same time as a place to to grow vegetables. So I plan on having the actual rocket stove in this corner. Here I will be sleeping and then this whole row will be plants and the chimney will go out the back. I realized that I needed a driveway because for this rocket stove I'm going to need lots of clay and uh, also in the future I'm going to have to be able to bring stuff in by car or truck load later on. So I didn't want to completely destroy my land, especially this beautiful moss that you can see me moving. So I'm preparing um, a little islands of this moss in areas where there's nothing growing. You can see uh, side by side, this is what it looked like before. And here, that's all been transplanted over to here. I'm finally ready to start digging the rocket stove. I cleared out a pathway and I finished uh, the driveway. There's lots and lots of rocks here. I've gotten these rocks, not all of these rocks out in the past hour in case there weren't even more reason to not set expectations for when the unexpected can happen. In my case, having these massive boulders that I, I have no idea how big they are or if they're gonna be, if it's gonna be possible to take them out. If not, then I mean, the design of my rocket stove has to change a little bit. I'm calling it a day. I found yet an even bigger rock and I started leveling out that side over there. I'm gonna dig out this whole area so that this whole greenhouse I can reach with my hands up and not reach the top. Day three of working on the, the rock stove. I already dug out where the stove's gonna be and I already started flattening it out. It's a uh, half meter underground and it's going to be about 120 centimeters long by about 68. These stones I think I'm going to use as part of the foundation for a bed because they're they're going to be good for holding heat as thermal mass. It's an interesting jump since going from playing around in a illustrator file with bricks to actually going to figure out how does it make the most sense. One of the tricky things about this living space is that the more that I'm digging out of this half of the room, the more crammed I am getting on this side of the room. Yesterday, my neighbor and I, we, we went and we dug up some juniper trees that, were, that would otherwise get thrown away because they were along power lines. Here, fresh we transplanted from a forest in Ignalina. And I also got two wild fruit trees. Um, there's a, a wild apple tree and a wild plum tree. So I'm gonna throw some compost on it and then uh, lace some cardboard around it so weeds can't get to them. This is my first experiment to plant radishes into a trash bottle that I found on this land I couldn't figure out any other use for. So I took some land from there. Now I'm going to cover it up with some more dark land and see what happens. I, as of yesterday, deleted my Facebook and I'm trying to cut down on certain channels while learning how to focus on others. So I started YouTube with these documentaries but you don't realize how much of your time these things take up. Maybe I am focusing on too many things at the same time right now. It's exciting in any case. I'm gonna start learning how to play around with clay and how to make cob. I've been researching quite a bit about this, but I've never taken the 
step until right now and I've been putting it off for weeks and how do you get yourself to do things the first time because my problem right now is I'm too slow to to try something and I know that you learn a lot faster when you when you do when you make mistakes lately I've been using the excuse that it's too cold for my hands and there's no good water to not play around with clay and cob and start figuring out how strong things are it's time I do that here's my bucket of mixed clay with grasses that I just picked off the field I made a little stove and I'm making my first little dinner and this is all I also put some of the cob inside here so it's drying out the cob at the same time I got it really hot to the point that it this all dried I'm just gonna let this all burn out